This is an immediate care center. This exercise will be played out between a patient room and a supply room. On the left side of the screen is the facility clock. Under that is the patient room information that will list the supplies needed for treating a particular patient. On the right side of the screen is the summary of information pertaining to your current run through the simulation. This information includes the time that has elapsed, the number of patients treated, and the supply room visits throughout the simulation. Below this window is a list of current supplies that the healthcare professionals will be collecting to treat the patients. To begin, click the Bring Patient to Room 1 button. The patient and nurse enter the room and prepare for assessment. Before assessing or treating a patient, the healthcare professional must wash their hands. Click the Assess button for the current patient and a list of supplies needed for treatment is generated. Look over the list and memorize or record and click the Get Supplies button. The nurse will travel to the supply room to collect the supplies. When the nurse arrives to the supply room, you will see a cabinet with various supplies. Roll over an item with your mouse and it will be identified in the box at the bottom. To collect supplies, click on the desired supply and it will be placed in your current supplies inventory. Instructions on how to collect and discard supplies are also shown on the left side of the screen. After collecting the needed supplies, you are ready to return to the patient room. Click the Go Back to Patient Room button and the nurse will head back to the patient room with the collected supplies. Once back in the patient room, you will need to verify the supplies by clicking the Verify Supplies button. If you collected the right supplies, a Treat and Dismiss button will become available which you can click and move on to the next patient. If the supplies gathered were incorrect, you'll need to go back to the supply room and grab the correct supplies. One thing to keep in mind while collecting supplies is the limited number of supplies. There is a chance that certain unique items, such as thermometers, needed to treat a patient will not be available in the supply room due to another doctor using the supply. If this situation would arise, you have the choice to wait in the supply room for the needed supply to return, or the choice for the current patient to go on hold and assess a second patient. Keep in mind, if you choose to assess a second patient, you must return all items you picked up for the current patient before assessing a new patient. 